There. Now it's filming. Okay. Um, can... It's filming. Go. <laughs> can you tell us who you are and what you do? I'm Black Feather, and I am a healer. And today, what we're going to do is I'm going to lead you through a sacred groves walk. Okay. And what is that? That's your question. Sort of. Okay. What, is, what is a sacred gross walk? A sacred gross walk is um, is a way for you to get answers to a problem, to something, something that's an issue for you. Sometimes you can be too close to a problem. And um, a sacred gross walk is a way of, rather than trying to work it out through your rational mind over and over and over and lots of times getting stuck in the same place. A sacred gross walk is a way of using Mother Earth and using Mother Earth interactively to, to help provide you with the answers that you need. Oh. So, so basically what happens is you ask yourself a question ahead of time, you have a concern ahead of time, and you go on a, a guided walkabout and I'll talk to you I'll tell you a little bit about about some of the things that you can do to prepare yourself ahead of time uh, to help you out and so you do a guided walkabout and um, energetically what happens is you've already actually done it uh, but energetically you place signs for yourself you place omens for yourself on your path that will be an answer to your question Okay. And, and you can ask specifically for unmistakable signs because okay. you're working with Great Spirit, you're working with Mother Earth, um, you're working with your own spirit, you're working with your own spirit helpers, and they know you better than you know yourself in a way. Because as I say, we get kind of stuck in our rational mind uh, a little bit, kind of gets us hung up sometimes. <laughs> uh, so... Um, so basically what's what's going to happen is you're just going to uh, to go on this walk to take this journey and just discover the signs that you've already put there for yourself. Okay. So it's magical. I have <laughs> kind of a problem or something that I'm working on. Yes. And that is that I have just recently um I decided to go back to school and I was going to do a PhD. Yes. And um and after the first year uh, we I stopped. And now I want to, I'm going back to work, I guess. I want to still work on the, the topic that I had. Yes. But I need to just make some money in the meantime, you know, get started again, because I got into some debt and stuff through going to school. So what kind of question could I ask about that to start out on a sacred gross walk, for instance? So, so you want to continue the work that you started to do? Um and you were talking about debt, so I, I assume you want to clear a little bit of that up, give yourself a little bit of breathing space. Yeah. Um, so, so what to do that is in resonance with your spirit that will allow you to make, um, to, to provide for yourself. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I don't have to get a job where I feel like I'm, my soul's being sucked out every day when I right. go, you know, that kind of job. Yes. So yes, something that, that is okay. a little bit heart centered. Uh, okay. So yeah. basically what we're asking for is like, what kind of a vocation will provide for you and allow you to do your heart's work at the same time. Right. And what steps right? can I take towards getting there? I and guess. what steps can you is, take towards yeah. getting there? Um, so, so we'll go there with, with that question in mind. Okay. We'll do this journey with that question in mind. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to try to keep it really open because the journey might turn out to be something about your mindset as compared to specific specific right. um, vocations to go for. Right. Uh, that said, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll get exactly the answers that you're looking for, likely right. about a vocation. Um, and so... You, you might think that walking around in nature, how is that going to provide these answers? Um, but all I can say is we just kind of go through the process and and see see what we've um, what's come upon the path for us. Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay, so the first step then basically was to to formulate the question. Formulate the question. Okay, so what yes. do you do when you have the question? What do you do when you have the question? Um, I'll 
look for uh, some help first. I'll look for a guide uh, perhaps to keep in mind to go with me. I'll look for a little bit of guidance because as it is, like I try and stay really open to to what what happens on the walk. Um, but at the same time, sometimes your guides want to nudge you to go in this direction, to go in this direction, to go in this direction. And so like an animal totem, an animal companion is probably the most... Um, for most people, is the most identifiable, um, identifiable or or accessible um, means of getting this kind of guidance. So, some people might do that through a drum journey. Um, some people might do that through a vision quest. You might look at uh, your dream, the dreams that you have just before going on this journey, and they'll give you an indication. Um, Usually I'll do a vision quest, but just to make it kind of simple for everybody, um, we'll just pull a card from a, from an animal medicine deck, and that'll give us that'll give us the guidance that we need because this is kind of something that everybody everybody can do. So okay, okay, yeah. Before you do that, can I just ask one question? What if for instance, oh, yes. <laughs> what if for instance it wasn't an animal? Say it was a tree that came up in your vision or a person. Whatever, whatever happens for you your guides will give you something you'll give yourself something as interconnected as we all are i guess we i won't go into that um but you'll give yourself something that that you will know what to do with uh when it comes time to use it or what have you um you'll know what to do with it. in terms of your question um these are the cards that i use medicine cards by jamie sams and david carson so I'm just going to shuffle them until one falls out. Oh, two, three, four. Lots. Um, seven. the first one fell out. Yeah. Black Panther. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that on love the camera. Black Panther. Black Panther. So Black Panther um, essentially is about fear. Um, is about going into your shadows, is about going somewhere that you're a little bit scared to go, maybe, and um, and finding uh, the gifts that are there for you. So, so it's about going into your shadow, about going into somewhere that you might be a little bit afraid to go. Again, I'm going to say, don't go anywhere dangerous. Um, don't go anywhere in a dark alley, but at the same, you know, a dark alley that looks really um, iffy. But at the same time, um, go somewhere, look, look for opportunities where you're maybe not that comfortable to go. There's, there's a nicky feeling about it or something, uh, but there's something that'll come up that is an investigation. And in this case, I'm doing the walk for you. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to think, um, because so often I'll, I'll do walks for people that, that I, don't, I don't know from, from more than a few lines in an email, um, I have to go somewhere where I'm not that comfortable going. So, so right. it's really, it's really interactive that way. Okay. okay. So for people who don't know the cards as well as you do, or who don't have yes. ideas of animals, do you have resources that they could use? Um, Are you I, favorite ones? Or? Yes, um, I do. I have, um, a few, uh, websites that, I, that I'll use, uh, as far as interpretive information goes, um, that I'll, that I'll provide links to. Um, okay. and, and, um, of course, um, since you're, since you're watching this, um, if you want my help to get one as well, um, I can, uh, do a vision quest or, or pull a card for you or whatever I'm uh, guided to do that, that, um, you know, seems it would be most helpful for you and I'll provide you that and then just kind of give you a little bit of guidance before you set out. Excellent. Okay. 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 So now we've done um, sort of sort of three steps there so far. We've identified our question, and then we uh, uh, found a guide. And then you've also told us a little bit about how the guide is going to help us. This specific guide for our question, or at least what to be aware of when we're out there. Yes. So what do we do now? What we do now is we take a couple of deep breaths. And I would like to, I usually say a little prayer of gratitude before I head out. Um, so I'll do a short, very, very short one for you. 
just to thank Mother Earth, to thank Father Sky, to thank Great Spirit, and to thank ourselves for the loving adventure that we get to undertake right now. Okay. Excellent. And then you start the walk? Um, no, then I make sure that I have things that I need. Oh, of course. Yes. Uh, a uh -huh. couple of other things that I need. One is, um, it's just common sense stuff. Um, one is um, bring some water with you, bring a snack with you, uh, dress really warmly. Uh, you know, sometimes I've gotten the um, um, the um, guidance just to sit in a spot and wait for a long time and you know whatever whatever um and, and wait for whatever is, is supposed to come by in front of me um so dress warmly and if it's hunting season as it is here now um uh, wear something bright colored and oh as well uh pencil and paper i don't usually recommend or personally myself i don't really like to write things down and journal as I'm walking because I, I just um, I find it's a little more productive for me to just try and keep my mind open and my focus uh, my focus going while I'm on the walk and then what I need to remember um, I will be able to remember later and then so do my journaling after the walk um, but the other thing you might want is if you have a camera built uh, ability to take photographs on your cell phone, uh, bring that with you. Um, it's always a good safety feature to have so you can call somebody else. Um, so you can call if, if you if you get into a problem or something. Not that that's going to happen. Uh, but it's also a really good way to document your journey. Okay. How long does it normally take you, one of these walks? Um, it, at the most, a couple of hours. Okay. Um, it just... It just depends. Usually, usually it won't be more than two hours. Um, yeah. And and don't think too. I will say don't um, don't overload yourself with information. You've already asked yourself for unmistakable signs, and you've put unmistakable signs for yourself out there. Um, and but at the same time, um, you'll you'll know when a sign is right, but you might not realize fully all the ramifications of that sign until afterwards when you journey and you're writing things out. Okay? Okay. So how do you know where to go to start? How do you know where to go to start? That's a good question. Um, sometimes I just... There's no wrong way to do this. Um, and you're not going to make a mistake. You don't have to get all stressed out about, oh, should I go this way? Should I go this way? Am I going to miss my sign if I don't? Um, if I don't go a certain direction? Um, you can't make a mistake. Um, you will get the sign that you need. Um, it's. I I will. I would likely think about first off, um, the animal guidance that I that I had. Um, you know, like in this in this case, Black Panther. Where would that take me? Um, um, Black Panther. Thank you. Um, sorry, if I say if I say thank you and I look a little distracted, it's because I'm getting confirmation from my guides. I usually get them as a shiver down my back. Uh, Black Panther. When I think about Black Panther, I think about the jungle. I think about somewhere dark. I think about somewhere swampy. Um, so the first place that comes to mind for me is an area not too far away that is a little bit uh, a little bit swampy compared to the area surrounding it. So for me, that's where I'm headed. Okay. Okay. So we'll come along with the camera and go through the process with you. Um, but I'm going to try not to interrupt you during the process, but we'll sit sometimes um, when we get a chance and maybe discuss a little bit more. Does that sound okay? Sounds excellent. Okay. okay. See you out there. Okay, let's journey. Okay. So the first sign that we came across and... I try not to get myself overloaded with signs, but um, but I'll, I'll pay attention to to most everything. Um, is we um, I can't show you them on camera because they've left already, unfortunately. Um, but there was a big stag, and he there he's after a couple of uh, females. It's the rutting season right now, 
Um, so we're just going to kind of make a note of, of the fact that we saw the stag and we saw two does and one of them was limping as well. So like I said, I won't try and uh, suss out what it all means until afterwards when we're, uh, when we're looking at um, journaling, journaling our journey. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now, now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say a couple of other things. One is, as you're headed to where you intended to go in the first place, um, if you if you had a destination in mind, that is, watch for signs along the way that are that resonate with you. And for me, they're feathers, pigeon feathers especially, because pigeons are messengers. They're about messengers. Um, so lots of times depending on how I um, how it resonates with me how I feel sometimes if there's uh, if I'm wondering whether I should go left whether I should go right I'll follow which way the pigeon feather is pointing for me to go um, it can be it can be whatever resonates with you for some people it's it's it can be stones for some people it can be a certain color um, and the other thing I want to mention is, to, to try and be aware with all of your senses as you're going on your walk. For instance, one of the reasons that I noticed that there was a stag there was because it was bellowing. Um, and something else you might notice um, using all your senses is there's gunfire in the background because there is uh, an army firing range uh, just behind us on the other side of the fence. So another safety note, don't trespass on other people's property. Um, and, and again, don't go anywhere that it's not safe to go. We don't have those military firing range warning signs for, any, for nothing. I'm sure they're probably shooting blanks. Um, but um, the reason I stopped here to begin with was um, because they're also loading um, I could see that they're loading wood in the forest. They do some harvesting on the Ministry of Defense property, and I noticed that they were loading up some of the wood that they'd cut. So I'm just kind of journaling that as as one of the signs on the walk. Okay. okay. Um, one question I have while we're sitting here, and you were talking about trespassing and stuff. Yes. Um, right now we're in the country. Yes. Do you do this in the city as well? You you can do it in the city. You can do uh, you can do sacred growth walks wherever you are. Uh, for me personally, um, like I, I have I have done done walks through the city. the The problem for me personally is um, it can get a little overstimulating. So so if you are in the city, if you don't have access to to a, a country place, to a forest. Um, then go where you're guided to go. Go wherever you're guided to go. Um, but for me and uh, and for this walk, um, th this is where we're going. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. So we noticed a couple signs on the way here as we got here. This is kind of the, the swampy area that I was thinking about. And uh, we saw a hawk on the way here. Um, we didn't get a very good look at him, but he was he was headed in this direction as well. So for me, that's that's just confirmation. And and I know lots of times you'll think, well, when I'm on a walk, I see a hawk, I see hawks, and I see feathers, and I see, um, you know, I, I see a lot of the signs that that you're talking about seeing today. Um, but the point is, your intention. You went out on this walk with the intent of asking for signs specific to to your questions, specific to your, your query. Um, so so looking for them, they, they take on specific, um, it's a little more directed, they take on specific specific um, meaning just for the fact that you had that intention when you set out today, okay, you set out on your walk. And one of the other things that uh, caught my attention is um, is this, this little blue patch um, of it looks like old spray paint mm -hmm. um, on this uh, on the tree that's here on the birch tree that's here um, and for me it caught my attention because it I mean it's uh, it's out of place definitely and for the fact that it's blue one of the other signs that that 
I find on my walks um, are things that are colored blue just because blue is the color of clarity. So usually if I, I see a sign like that, especially one that, that resonates with me that really sticks out, um, just tells me I'm, I'm on the right track, I'm in, I'm in the right place. It's a, it's a message to, to look around, to look a little further. Okay. okay. Um, I have one question for you about sure. this idea of so you're walking around with the knowledge of your question. Yes. And also with the knowledge of the guide that is supposed to show you. Yes. That. So in this case, it was Black Panther. Yes. Does that mean you try and see the world as a Black Panther? Or is there something else to it that... It, 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 it can mean that for you. It, it's a little difficult to say because it, it, it's whatever it means for you personally. For me, it just means, uh, for me, the Black Panther just kind of means, kind of led me to this area um, uh, be because Black Panther is associated with, you know, for me, with swampy areas. And and like I said, it also means that when it comes to maybe a question about where to go, do I go this way or do I go this way? I'm a little more nervous about going this way that, oh, Black Panther, that could be one of the reasons why Black Panther was there right. because it's about your fear. It's about the shadow you know, um, going into somewhere that's a, that's a little more dimly lit, for instance. Right. It, it might be as simple as that. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but, you know, having a little bit of an idea ahead of time about what your animal might move like, what your animal's habits habits are. Right. Um, like, like if uh, a couple of examples, if you were to have pulled or gotten the wolf as a guide, for instance, um, you might just try and be very aware of of sensory sensory feelings because wolf feels a lot of things through their fur. You know when you get uh, the feeling of of your uh, the hair on the back of your neck kind of kind of perking up and you can't really think of why. Well, if if you pull the wolf card, wolf is very sensitive um, sensitive gets a lot of information through their fur. So just try and be aware of things energetically or 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 in a in a tactile kind of way right yeah good thank you so there are a few signs that i noticed here that stuck out to me uh, one was a little further back we didn't take a picture of it because it might not have looked that interesting to most people uh, but it was just a bit of cardboard that somebody had thrown away a long time ago. It was just off on the side of the trail, but but in the area where that where that um, uh, blue mark on the birch tree was. So it got me to look around a little bit more. And the other is I wasn't quite sure where to go from there, but I knew I was close to the right spot. So I thought about Jaguar's message and went a little bit further into. Um, into where I saw there being a, a, a dark, a swampy area, um, but a little bit darker. And what I found was, um, again, we're close to this fence that um, the, the army has partitioned off uh, on the other side of here is, is their range. Again, we're at, you're not supposed to be trespassing, um, but, um, but just on the other side of it, and I didn't trespass, I fished it out with a stick, totally different matter. Um, I saw this black fabric uh, that's there. Again, something that was just kind of uh, thrown away. I can't even re really tell what it was from to begin with. Um, uh, an article of clothing, though, certainly. Um, but uh, this is, it, again, it's something that I'm going to make note of. Um, just the fact that I found this black fabric and uh, I know I'm in the right spot. I, I don't fully know what it means yet. Um, but again, for the fact that Black Jaguar uh, was here, uh, Black Jaguar's fur, um, for me, this, this resonates with it. There are a lot of other things going on. Um, you know, I'm sure there's so much more information I could get out of this area. I had to jump a little bit of a ditch to, to get here. There's a, just a little bit of a ditch in front of me. Um, there's a, there's a water going through a bit of a, a culvert and a tunnel there. There's the fence here. Um, you could look at the symbolism of cedar trees. Um, that would probably all add to it. Um, but as far as, again, I don't want to get myself overloaded with information. Um, the important 
thing is um, that I was here, this, this black fabric. So I'll look this up as a symbol later. I try not to think about the symbols too much as I'm finding them. It's just a matter of, of feeling and knowing that I'm in the right spot and I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Look for the signs that are presented to me. Um, I did get another confirmation that it was in the right spot because, you know, we saw the, the logging truck earlier and just off on the side there, there, there are some bolts uh, of wood that, that were cut, some logs that were cut. Um, so for me, it's just another confirmation that I'm in the right spot. So for me now, my feeling is this journey is done. This vision quest is done. The sacred village journey is done. So um, where where I found my last sign, I'm going to give gratitude for all that was revealed. Uh, like I say, as much as I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what it all means at this at this point, um, which is a good thing because otherwise you're walking through your whole journey mentally sussing everything out, and um, and it, it kind of keeps you from being open to what's happening. You might start to develop, you know, mental ideas about, oh, this is the sign that I'll see next. This is what's coming up next. This will fit in with the story that I've got going on. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason that you undertook this journey in the first place was because, you know, maybe you were having a bit of trouble uh, figuring something out. Your Your rational thoughts were getting in the way. The story that you and maybe replayed over and over and over again when you've you've been in that uh, when you've been in that situation where you can't find the answer um you know things your rational mind will play into it a little too much so um so don't try and figure it out as as you as you're doing your journey so i'm going to give gratitude um, give thanks and i'm going to leave uh, one of the signs in respect. I'm going to leave one of the signs that was offered to me um, just as a show of gratitude to say that uh, I recognize what was put forth before me and, and I appreciate what was put forth before me. So I'm going to leave this here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, can I ask you how, how do you know when you're done? How do I know when I'm done? Um, I, before I started uh, this particular journey, I knew ahead of time, I had a feeling ahead of time where I was supposed to go. And, and in that sense, I knew that I would find the answer there and I just trusted that I would find the answer there. So I trust that what I've been given already, I found the answer for. So, um, You know, I'll, I'll, I'll go back and I'll, I'll look up the symbolism. Um, and for the fact that I started out with my with Black Panther being my guide, and the black fabric really resonated with me as Black Panther. Um, you know, the, there was a parallel there for me. The, the look of it, the, the feel of it even, Black Panther's fur, um, where it was, it resonated with me. So um, uh, I'll look it up, and, and I'm sure that looking up the, the symbolism, I'll find keywords that, that match up with the question that, that we came we came with. Right. Uh, but to answer your question, it really is just a matter of, of knowing and a matter of trust that, that we're, uh, where I ended up when I set out the answer would be there. But when right. it comes right down to it, when it comes right down to, to the, the, if you want to call it the final sign that you need, um, then, then you will just know. You just know, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and if you have trouble just knowing and you're still not sure, if it's if it's um, midnight already and you're s just sitting in the dark waiting for something, you're probably you're done. probably done. Like yeah. I was saying before, you you can't make a mistake. Right. Um, if the spirit knows ahead of time that you're going to do this walk. They knew how long ago you were going to do this walk, mm -hmm. that you were going to take this journey. They knew that you were going to be a little grumpy that day. <laughs> they knew that because you were going to be a little grumpy, you were going to make decisions like this. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional already. Um, but they take all that into account. The Spirit knows you so well. Spirit loves you so much. It knows you so well that it knows what you're going to think. It knows how you're going to act you know, given given a, a particular sign or given a particular situation. 
Um, and in that sense, they're going to make sure you know when you're done. Okay. Thank you. That was beautiful. So now we'll um, we'll head back and we'll l look at the signs. We'll, we'll journal it. We'll look at the signs, and we will um, look up look up some of the symbolism and see how our question has been answered. Okay. Come up with a finished product, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're back with Black Feather, and we yes. finished our walk. Mm -hmm. And so I, th I believe we're at step six, um, because the way that I have uh, felt that it's been broken down is into six steps. So um, we've been through step one, which was determining our question or our problem. Yeah. Then step two uh, was about asking for guidance or, you know, finding which guidance would help us on our journey. Mm -hmm. Step three was looking for information about that guide that we could then take into the journey with us. Yeah. Step four was starting the walk, um, beginning with gratitude and, you know, taking the things we need and then figuring out where is my first step. Yes. Then step five is when you're on the walk. So the signs that you see, which one is a which one is a sign I need to take with me, which one isn't, when am I finished, those things we talked about. Mm -hmm. And then now this is step six. So this is after the walk. Yep. So what happens in this step? So in step six, we come back and we get comfortable, cup of tea. <laughs> um, and we, <laughs> we um, uh, I do my, uh, this is personally when I like to do my journaling. As I said, I don't like to do it uh, on the walk. I, I'd rather do it afterwards. And just ask ahead of time that, you know, Spirit is going to help you, me remember everything I need to remember. And the parts that you don't remember, don't worry about it. You're not supposed to. Um, so I'll just go um, and list the signs that I saw that I felt were relevant in, in point form. Um, and then I'll use, you can use whatever um, re reference resonates with you. Um, I'll, I personally use a dream dictionary that I like, this one, um, but I'll send you, a, a, I'll provide you a link to that one. Um, like I said, for me, this one really resonates, and I like re using a dream dictionary as well because it, it, um, it doesn't give too involved a uh, description about, about what um, certain symbolism is, uh, what a certain symbol means. Um, it, it'll, and you, you can really just kind of glean from it what it is. Um, it's a lot easier to glean from it is uh, from the description what it is that, that works for you or, or what you feel is relevant. So I'm just going to do a little bit of reading um, in, uh, of the descriptions that I wrote down. And so the first sign that we saw was the stag. Um, and stags are about fertility, they're about renewal, and it's a message to say that you're being guided to a successful and happy time in your life. Yeah. And, uh, and it was interesting, actually, just to interject here. Um, when we came back from the walk, we reviewed some of the video that we had filmed earlier. Yeah. And uh, during the first portion of the video, when I was asking my question, you can actually hear a stag bellowing just as yeah. I ask my question. So that was kind of a nice confirmation for both of us to know that when we saw the stag as our first sign, mm -hmm. you know, it sort of comes full circle in a way. So you're yeah. on the right track. Yeah. yeah. That was really exciting. I yeah. know. I didn't, it, it's it's so funny that we didn't notice it. And then we just went around the corner and then, oh, there's, there's a stag there. Oh my goodness. And you'd think, um, you'd think we would have heard it ahead of time, but no, it was a great confirmation. Yeah. Um, the next sign that we saw was um, was the wood being loaded, the logs being loaded. And personally, part of the way that I take that sign has to do with accumulating accumulating uh, raw materials right now, um, like a like a gathering period. Nice. Um, so at logs are. Again, it points to a venture, creating a venture that will support your dreams and desires. Uh, and like I said, just that you're gathering your resources right now. And then we saw the hawk. And hawks are, 
always a good totem uh, when you're doing a, a, a vision quest, uh, vision journey kind of thing, because they're very much about signs and omens uh, and that kind of thing. They're 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 the messenger, and the how I took the the hawk showing up as a sign um, and and flying down the path ahead of us. Uh, personally, I took it as as being aware that that um, what you're going to see further on the path that we're going down today is going to give you signs that that will um, that will prompt you um, in signs that you see in signs that you see afterwards. So this this walk will give you information that says keep your eyes open for for this. With this information that we saw, keep your eyes open for, for what's coming next, for the opportunity, because that's the opportunity that you, um, that spirit wants for you, that that's what'll work in line with your, your highest self, with your goals, okay? Oh, yeah, thank you. And then we saw the, the blue paint on the tree, and again, um, I see that as just kind of kind of bringing something to your attention there's there's something to do with clarity there's something to do with um blue can also have something to do with an underlying sadness as well and for the fact that it was on a birch tree um you know birch is about um new beginnings um releasing the past uh they're about layers um they're they're associated with vision quests, um, and because there was blue there, there there is there is the possibility. You know, this is maybe something to be investigated. There's a possibility of an underlying uh, sadness, um, or or something that maybe is holding you back, associated with with attaining your your goals, um, and maybe something something underneath the layers that needs to be looked at. Um, but maybe that's that's a separate issue. That's a bit of a side issue. So something that something that can be investigated. Um, but then, then, then I as I said, I kind of hopped over a, a bit of a ditch to to get to the final sign that had to do with you know a little more specifically with Black Panther, and. Uh, ditches are about challenges. Uh, ditches are about learning from past mistakes. And so um, we'll see if it comes into it as far as as far as possibly helping other people to get over there through the experiences that you've had, through uncovering your own layers, getting to helping how you can help other other people. So so it in my mind this might have something to do with like a, a service oriented role you know in in service to other people in service to to humanity mm. and then we got to the black fabric and black is about um you know things that are mysterious things that are in your shadow and the fact that it's fabric has to do with what the dream book suggests is it's about decorating and then um, fabric is about decorating and enhancing and making life more beautiful with the raw materials that you have. And it's about uncovering something that maybe you want to, to hide, uncovering something that's hidden. Um, it's something that people are doing to fabricate the truth. Um, and and cedar as well as cedar i'm going to get back to that a little bit but cedar is is about healing and cleansing and protection you know cedar's the tree of life cedar's the timber of the gods so this is the the raw resource um you know here's the answer in this area is the, the raw resource that 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 you came in with um um, in connection with spirit that you have to offer others so um, so the way that I see um, the most important symbol for me I think is is uh, the black fabric it's a confirmation about black panther it's just you know the the feel of it the um, uh, the look of it um, seems like that's a symbol to concentrate on mm -hmm. and I see it as being being guiding you to to 
uncovering things for people, whether it's um, in maybe like investigative journalism or something like that. And with with the hawk in mind is keeping open to opportunities that present themselves like that. Um, you, for the fact that as an energetic being, you have laid down, you, you know, you can see that you've, you have the power to lay down these signs on your path. You have the power to lay down, thank you, you have the power to lay down on your path what's coming next. So it, it, this was um, a little bit of a journey for you to stay, to, to kind of guide you and to show you to stay open to, um, my belief is something to do with, with um, uncovering things with investigation, um, with, with that kind of thing. Something else I noticed when you started to talk about the black fabric, the last sign that we found, yeah. and it's really difficult to see in the video, but I could see it from where I was filming you and hear it. There were two squirrels chasing each yeah. other up and down the tree. Um, so I don't know if that was a symbol that you wanted to talk about or if it has any, any impact yes. on the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love squirrels. <laughs> They're a great totem. Yeah. Um, because, um, you know, it, it, it's all, it's kind of a matter of perspective. Um, you know, before we, we move into and realize our future selves, there, there can always be a bit of apprehension because we're going on our, our old paradigm, you know, and, and going through a bit of a change like that can always be a little, um, can induce a little anxiety. Um, so, but squirrels, you know, as much as what they're doing, how they're moving looks really precarious, they, um, they're a totem about providing, they're a totem about gathering, they're a totem about providing for yourself, uh, providing for your future. And, and as much as, like I say, their, their movements and their antics seem really precarious, there's a, a real playful aspect to it. So as much as possible, you know, it, it's, again, it was a confirmation, uh, confirmation to say, you know, this is, this is how you provide for your future. This will lead you to be able to provide for yourself and to be able to provide for others as well. Um, but keep in mind that it's, it's not a struggle. It's, it's not as scary as you imagine it to be. Right. Um, have it's, fun with it. yeah, have fun with it. There's a playful aspect to it. I mean, that's what life is all about. Oh, that's wonderful. Really, that's the way to go through life. So, um, yeah. Wow. So have fun doing it. Yeah. And tell me about it. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Black Feather. Okay, you're welcome. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your medicine with me. It's always such a privilege to be able to share medicine with somebody else. Okay. There's also a good thing to remember. Uh, keep safe when you're going on a walk. Don't do anything stupid like walk out on thin ice. You can continue your, your journey through visualization or something if, if you get into something dangerous. Okay, boys okay. and girls, thank you. Thanks, Smokey.